Well, let's head uh, back out to Austria, where Vladimir Klitschko is training ahead of his uh, July the 2nd clash, massive clash against David Hay. Let's go live to Craig Slater. Take it away, Craig. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yes, we are in the Austrian Tyrol, but the hills are not alive to the sound of music. They're alive to the sound of punches, or at least they will be in the next few minutes, because, as you can see, Vladimir Klitschko is just taping up his hands there. He'll shortly be going on the pads and then doing some sparring, 10 rounds of sparring planned for him today. But uh, what a specimen he is, and he looks in fantastic condition. 35 years of age now, though, he is but entering into his, his 59th fight. He's actually looking for his 50th career knockout against David Hay, and he has been a world champion for over a decade now, at least he first won his world title over a decade ago. 18 world title fights in all, Vladimir Klitschko has. He's won 16, which is actually an identical record to Lennox Lewis. And he has Lennox Lewis's former trainer there, Emmanuel Stewart, to guide him in this stage of his career. But it is quite something being on the end of Vladimir Klitschko's punches. That's what David Hay is going to be doing on July the 2nd. But this man alongside me now has been having to take his punches for the last sort of week or so. It says Jarrell Miller, but, uh, and you've sparred with him. You're only 2-0 and as, as a young heavyweight yourself, just 22 years of age. What is it like being in there? What is the power like being on the other end of it? It's not no joke. I mean, I mean you spar with the heavyweight champion of the world, so you actually have to be sharp, you got to be in shape and be ready. So that, I think that David Hay is not ready for this yet, man. I think it's going to be a, a real heavyweight he's sparring. I mean, he's fighting a real power. So once he get hit like this, he's going to start running. And it's so long you can run. You're going to run out of rope. So I think he better be ready. But I think Vlad's going to put it to him. And um, first hand from sparring with him, I just know that he's going to get hurt. You know what I mean? Well, let's just take a step to the side, Jarrell. We'll just take a look at Vladimir here as he prowls around the ring. He's uh, got a look of real focus on his face. And from what... Uh, Emmanuel Stewart was telling us the fact that it is David Hay and there, there has been this long-running feud between the pair really has him extra motivated for this. I mean, does he talk about the fight a lot, Jarrell? I mean, could you te can you sense that he's, he's really up for this? Yeah, he's definitely up for it. You know, he's a David Hay been running for a long time. It's about time he get his butt whooped. So I think that he's really hyped for this fight. Before he'd be really calm, but in training, he has an extra smile on his face. So every day he comes into the gym, he's ready. He's getting even tougher. He's getting strong every day. He's stepping it up the pace. So I think he's really, he really doesn't like David Hay. So he's really definitely trying to come and bust some heads in this fight, you know. Well, I guess the first task for David Hay is maybe to get out the way of that jab that Vladimir has. He's got that 81 inch reach. He's much taller than David Hay is. Yeah. How difficult is that when you, I mean, you presumably been doing those kind of drills yeah. with him and sparring. How hard is it to get out the way oh, of that man. jab? For, for a big guy, I mean, sometimes you look at TV and you say, oh, the Chris Coles might not be as tough or they're easy to kind of stiff. It's not easy, man. And his defense is superb with, with his hand, with his head movement. And a lot of people don't know that, don't don't see it the way how we see it because we're in there with him. He's quicker he, than he looks, in quicker, other words. A lot quicker than he, is, than he looks. And his defense is a lot tougher to get through than people think it is. You know what I mean? I know my load nicks and necks to get through and get a couple punches here and there, but it takes a little while to learn. You know, this is my second camp with Vladimir Klitschko, and I've known how to get in and out. But Hayes not going to have all that time to do all that. And he gets in, he's going to get cracked. So I think it definitely takes time to learn. Okay. I've also noticed he does occasionally kind of let you get in or you work your way in close. Mm -hmm. And then you see Vladimir grab hold and march you back towards mm -hmm. the ropes, leaning that kind of 17 stone, 240 pounds or whatever it is that he carries. Yeah. Is that pretty exhausting for a fighter when you're in there? And what sort of effect might that have on Hay? Yeah, it would definitely have an effect on Hay, you know what I mean? Because he's not, he's not, he's nowhere near... Well, at 240 pounds, from what I know, is and I'm 250 pounds. About 210 or there, about 215. So he's definitely getting pushed around. He's a little guy in this fight. Definitely get pushed around and pushed around. But you know, um, styles make fights. You know what I mean? I know I'm not gonna take my hand off the hay. He's made it this far, so let's see what he can do. You know, I, I get the benefit of the doubt, but my money's on Vladimir. If I had to put my money up, and um, you know, I just think he, he's ready to fight, man. And he's gonna come in 100 percent and try to put hay on his behind. You know, he's never really got punched by a real solid heavyweight. You know, and this is a solid heavyweight. He's been in there with some of the best. Yeah, because you have a lot of David Hayes' previous fights on screens, mm -hmm. big screens around this this ring. They're running in a, in a kind of loop, if you like. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and there we have the Enzo Macaronelli fight going on in the background, just behind us there at the moment, which was a, a crashing knockout yeah, yeah. victory for David. Do you sense the power? Does he have the power to trouble the very elite heavyweights? He's had a couple of knockout wins. Since, you know, since he's come up the division, he hurt Nikolai Valuev, yeah, which yeah. has to be said. Uh -huh. But uh, is he a serious banger at this level? He, he does have some power for his side. He definitely has some power. But the thing about it, though, 
he's not really sharp. You know what I mean? He throws a lot of wild extra punches to make that. He throws a lot of punches in bunches, and hopefully one of them lands. And in the heavyweight, it takes just one good shot. You know what I mean? If he gets that one good shot, he's going to go to sleep. Because I've seen him get clipped with little punches, and he gets wobbled. And you can't get hit. You get, his jab can hurt you. Better than a jab can really hurt you if you're not, even you know what you're getting yourself into. So I feel like he's going to get hurt. You know, that's <laughs> what I can see. He's going to get hurt, man. Okay. You know what I mean? Great stuff, Jarrell. Thanks very much for that. I wonder if we just quickly leave you, I suppose, with shots of, of Vladimir in the ring at the moment. Just uh, having his hands taped up there with Emmanuel Stewart. And hopefully when you come back to us, we'll be seeing him in action. Well, you can see that fight. It's live on Sky Box Office and Sky D 3D even on July the 2nd. Coverage begins at 8pm with replays throughout the morning on Sunday. You can also go to our website, skysports.com forward slash hey for more information. We'll have plenty more from Austria. We might even see Craig Slater in the ring with Vladimir Klitschko we? if we uh, get our no. wish. Will we? Well, we might do. Crikey. We could only ask, can't we? We'll have uh, much more definite.